Big Chico Creek starts up in the Colbys and runs down right through Iron Canyon, right by Chico State University. What we're standing on here is Upper Bidwell Park, the crown jewel of Chico. In the 1940s, a fishway was built in Iron Canyon. At some point, there was an earthquake where rocks fell off the canyon wall. So we have complete blockage. Anadromous fish have no way to make it from this point here up into the Big Chico Creek Ecological Reserve and those critical freshwater habitats. So the species we're talking about here are Spring Run Chinook Salmon, Steelhead, Pacific Lamprey, Sacramento Suckers, Hardhead, Pike Minnow, and others. Our understanding of how to restore fisheries has changed. Previously, it was thought that native fishes were competing with our salmon and trout. Fish and Wildlife applied rotenone to rid those reaches of river of those fishes. When the native fish were present, they provided a food source for all sorts of things, like otters and ospreys. Take those uh, big non-game fish out of the picture, what have you got left for a food resource? The only food resource are the trout. The abundance of everything declined, not just the fish that they deliberately destroyed, but the abundance of the trout declined. One of the things that they noticed was that the biomass of insects declined after the fish were eliminated. There's something going on there that nobody expected or understood. NOAA Fisheries has a mandate to recover Spring Run Chinook salmon in the Central Valley. They've identified this as a top priority. We now have a better understanding of the ecological interactions between different species. What we're doing here is taking an ecosystem-based approach to restoration of the entire native fish fauna in Big Chico Creek. There's three primary components of this project. First, there's a fish passage barrier. We're gonna restore access to those upper sections of creek. Also, we're gonna be reintroducing native fishes to their historical habitats. And finally, there's gonna be outreach associated with this that tells this story to the people of Chico and visitors of Bidwell Park. To really tackle climate change and to work on big restoration projects like this, we need to involve Lots of people, lots of perspectives, lots of partners like the Majupta tribe. They bring so much knowledge, specifically like traditional ecological knowledge. And to be able to involve them so early on is amazing so that we can make sure that this outreach and communication happens from the very beginning. For the Majupta tribe, this project is paramount and helping heal this land that's been uh, damaged in so different ways. And, and not only that, but to let our youth and our, our people connect back to this place and connect back to these species and essentially back to the homeland. Being able to open up this corridor to allow the fish to have a fighting chance to breed and create the next generation is huge. You have access to this cold water uh, near a forest ranch and they have spawning habitat there. Their one and only pathway in life is an extinction. They have an alternative. We can help them out. We're excited to partner in this project, not only for the fish passage that is going to be critical to our canyon, um, but really into the long-term commitment to make sure that this stream is maintained as a viable habitat for these fish into the future. It really adds value to all of the projects that we're doing currently and we will be doing in the future. It isn't easy to pull something like this off. I couldn't be happier the fact that Caltrout adopted this as a project. They have a really good track record of, of getting a project not only started, but finished and finished well. Projects like this may seem daunting, but Caltrout has experienced doing this in other places and working with experts in engineering and construction to be able to take on projects like this and make them successful. For example, on Eagle Canyon, we recently completed a very similar project, very successfully. We're taking that same concept and transposing it on a new problem here. So we're hopeful that this is gonna be successful and we have past experience to back this up. The earth is not separate units. You don't have a trout here and a minnow over there. We really don't know how they fit together. And this is just a beautiful example of where you take out some of the species and all of a sudden the whole picture falls apart. It's no longer sustaining itself. 
Biodiversity is the essence of what enables this planet to function as an ecosystem. I've dedicated the last 20 years of my career to conserving fishes. I'm really excited to be part of a team working together to accomplish a task like this. Once we get funded, we could see anadromous steelhead, anadromous chinook swimming their way through Chico up to the ecological reserve within five years.